Hi everyone, welcome to one another video. In this video, I am going to tell you about digestive system anatomy. The reason behind this video is, this is one of the definite question for freshers interview. As I already mentioned in interview questions for freshers video, interviewer will definitely ask you to explain any one human body system. If you have not seen the interview questions for freshers video, link given in the icon, please have a look and that will really helpful to you. Among all the system, digestive system is the one of the easiest system. If you prepare this system well means you can perform very well in the interview. Before we move into topic, if you find this video is informative, please hit like and please subscribe to get notified immediately whenever we upload new videos. Let's start. The digestive system portion of the human body responsible for digestion of food is the digestive system. It consists of a tube that extends from the mouth to the anus and some accessory organs include the tongue, teeth, salivary glands, pancreas, liver and gallbladder. Digestive system is also called gastrointestinal tract that is GI tract. Function of digestive system the digestive system breaks down food and nutrients such as carbohydrates, fat and proteins. They can then be absorbed in the bloodstream. So then only the body can use them for energy, growth and repair. Unused materials are discarded as feces. Now we will see how the digestive system works. We all know that digestion of food starts from the mouth. When you swallow your food, your teeth will crush them into smaller pieces and in the mouth salivary glands produce saliva. Saliva contains mucus and water along with digestive enzymes. Saliva helps to start the chemical breakdown of food. Then the tongue pushes the food into your throat or that is pharynx. Pharynx or throat. Medical term for throat is pharynx. For your understanding only, I have given like pharynx or throat. So, pharynx connects the mouth with the esophagus. Esophagus is the muscular tube that transports food from the pharynx to the stomach. Here in esophagus, peristalsis process starts. Peristalsis means series of wave-like muscle contractions that move food through the digestive tract. Because of peristalsis process, food is now moved through esophagus tube to stomach. In the stomach, stomach muscle mix food and liquid with digestive juice. Now we should know what is digestive juice and what is the use of it. First one gastric juice. This one we all know that gastric gland secretes hydrochloric acid and pepsinogen. Pepsinogen combines with hydrochloric acid and form pepsin. Pepsin digest protein. Next one Bile juice. Bile is secreted by liver and stored in gallbladder. Bile juice contains bile salts that are formed from cholesterol. So use of bile juice is to break down fat by emulsification process. Pancreas also secretes digestive enzymes. Stomach mix all the digestive juice with food and liquid and now slowly empties each content that is the mix digestive juice food and liquid that is called chyme in medical term that mix is called chyme stomach empties that chyme into small intestine small intestine the word small intestine indicates duodenum jejunum and ileum the small intestine pushes the mixture forward for further digestion the walls of the small intestine absorb water and the digested nutrients into bloodstream large intestine as the peristalsis process continues, the waste product of the digestive process move into large intestine. Large intestine begins at cecum, extended vertically from the cecum to ascending colon. Now the waste product travel through transverse colon, descending colon and sigmoid colon. The sigmoid colon becomes the rectum which turns about 7 to 8 inches long. The last inch of the rectum is anal canal. Water and electrolytes are absorbed in the large intestine with the resulting material called feces. I hope you are clear about digestive system anatomy. If you still need an easy format, 
I have given a picture that is step step by step digestive process. You can learn that process and develop in your own words. That is very easy. Please have a look. Thank you for watching. Till next video. Bye bye.